quarter, the Kings rally. Walt Williams goes baseline. The Laker lead cut to eight, and then the three ball from Williams. It's down to five. Vlade Divac goaltending on Randy Brown. So the Lakers only up three on Sacramento. They got it to one. But on the inbound pass, Adeo Threet with a clutch shot, giving the Lakers a three-point lead, 12 seconds to play. This for the tie. Spud Webb, it goes in and out. And look at Threet, grab the rebound. And like he's off to the races, lays it in, finished with 23 points and 11 assists. Byron Scott had 22. A.C. Green, 15 rebounds for playing in Minnesota. Christian Leitner off his one-game suspension with a swipe to Michael Williams, gets it back. He had 28 points in the game. The T-Wolves actually led by two after the opening quarter. Dana Barrows off the bench, throws up the three. He scored 15. Ricky Pierce led all scores with 24. Nice move baseline to get that to go. And the Sonics win 89-77 as George Carl awaits the arrival of Sam Perkins in Seattle. Miami, Ronnie Cycli fired up. He's angry about Sally starting over him, and he takes it out on Cliff Robinson with a block and then goes in with a one-handed stick. 24 points for Cycli, and Portland's struggling. They didn't shoot well. They didn't hook up well. Porter and Drexler do not connect, and then Porter, maybe a little too much dribbling here and throws that away. Florida has not been kind to the T-Wolves, losing in Orlando and losing in Miami. As Cycli helps knock off the ailing Blazers. Miami's first win ever over Portland. Blazers making just 35 of uh, 19 Hardaway were teammates. Remember now, the men of steel enemies. First quarter, Stockton strikes first with a swipe, and then to Jeff Malone, who led everybody with 31. Hardaway answering with a steal, and then a nice pass to Sarunas Marshallonis who takes it in for Golden State. Jerry Sloan tossed the last of seven technical fouls in the game. And in the fourth quarter, Marshall Onis, the loose ball to Hardaway to Tyrone Hill. And in the battle of uh, Stockton and Hardaway, Hardaway gets the best of it with 29 points compared to eight for Stockton. And Golden State gets at Boston. And Chris Ford, his team, the last two games, losing by an average of 31 points. But Reggie Lewis trying to change all that. Here he gets assaulted by Derek Coleman but scores two of his 33 in the game, 12 of 25 from the floor, and the X-Man, Xavier McDaniel, helping out with 20, and the Celtics blow away the Nets, who are struggling a little bit here. 103-88, New Jersey shooting just 35% on this. They are all in as many as 12, and Pat Riley just goes manic. He's ejected the technical foul, the second of the game. The Knicks fight back down one. Patrick Ewing in the lane with 10 seconds left, so the Knicks up one. Chance for the Bucks. Brad Lowhouse getting fouled by Ewing. Lowhouse hits both of his free throws, so Milwaukee is back up one, but with 2.6 seconds to go, Starks on the line, and with a little body English, gets both of his foul shots to go, and the Knicks knock off the Milwaukee Bucks as Starks really becoming an offensive force, scoring 11 of his 25 points in the final quarter. Charles Oakley, 15 points and 17 rebounds for New York. They won a Philadelphia, and so is Willis. Nice over the uh, shoulder pass to Dominique, who buries the three. Later in the second quarter, Philadelphia would come back. Johnny Dawkins, the feed to Tim Perry for the jam. Sixers up one, making a game of it. But back come the Hawks with Mookie. His fifth three-pointer on the evening. Laylock had 21, and then Wilkins outside the stripe from 23 feet away, hits a three. Atlanta set a team record on Wednesday night, 13 three-pointers in all, as they beat Philadelphia by 25. Shoot at the O Arena, and Jordan Hita probably played this one on crutches. First play of the game, ankle didn't bother him on this shot. He had 20 points at the half, and with Cartwright out of there, Shaq attacking Will Perdue. O'Neal inside, good position. He had 14 at halftime, but the Bulls dominating the first half. Scotty Pippen through the lane, 64-44. Chicago at the break, and not a happy birthday for Matt Gukas. Third quarter, Jordan, look at this, assist to Horace Grant, who had 18. The Bulls leading by 24. It looked like a blowout, but here come the Magic. Scott Skiles lit it up, firing up the three. The lead cut down to five, then 349 to play. Jordan missing the jumper. Pippen drills Jeff Turner with a vicious left hand. Skiles, Grant, Purdue, Shaq, everybody gets into it. Turner was ejected from the game. Pippen thrown out with 24 points in the game. And Michael picks up the slack. The nice fake, the spin move, and the bank shot. The Bulls leading 103-95. The Magic cut that lead down to three. Then Shaq 
getting the dunk and the foul for a three-point play. We got a tie game. Can you believe that? Phil Jackson can. After a couple of free throws by Trent Tucker, the Bulls leading by two. Nick Anderson for the tie. Shaquille for the tie on the follow. Cannot get it done. The Bulls hang on and yeah, happy to get away with a W here after that 24 point second half lead evaporated. They still pull it out. Jordan at the summit. Charles Barkley night in Houston. Fans with shaved heads get uh, free admission to the game and everybody even uh, oh, wow even uh, she wanted to get in on it and Charles got a kick out of it but he didn't get a kick out of this Barkley rejected by Akeem Olajuwon nine blocks for Akeem Kenny Smith through the legs Rockets a six-point lead in the opening quarter then Kenny Smith dishing to Akeem who at 32 and the Rockets up big, more pressure. Kenny Smith to Akeem, who gets it to Carl Herrera, who goes in over Barkley for two of his 21, a 20-point rocket lead at the end of the opening period, and Paul Westfall hates when that happens. Houston has been doing that to teams lately. Time running out third quarter just to rub it in. Watch Vernon Maxwell for three. Ten three-pointers for the Rockets, and they blow out the best in the West. Akeem with 32, as we said, nine shots blocked, grabbed nine rebounds, six is, and Alonzo Mourning against David Robinson blows by him with some quickness, and then on the other end, Alonzo rejecting David Robinson. Muggsy Bogues, who had a poor shooting night, only three of 12, misses one, but watch Larry Johnson fly into your picture, one of his 15 rebounds to follow, and the Hornets led by 11 at halftime. Second half, David Robinson leaves with a jammed thumb and did not return, although outplayed by morning most of this game. Charlotte on a roll, Larry Johnson to steal, and watch this, a slam and some ham. A little hot dog in Charlotte by as many as 17. Spurs rally, former Hornet J.R. Reed, the nice move, plus the foul. San Antonio within one, but time running out. Del Curry, this is a clutch jumper, and the Hornets do pull away. To knock off San Antonio 111-104. The X-rays for Robinson's thumb did show that's where they were at the Delta Center. Carl Malone gets the block, then Tisdale blocked by David Benoit. Stockton to Carl, then to Jeff Malone. The Jazz led by 11. Stockton the dish to Larry Kristowiak, who had 15 first-half points. And Gary St. Jean's team down 15 at halftime. In the second half, Tisdale blowing by Mark Eaton, who was just standing there. And then Walt Williams, who scored 37, gets the Kings into a three-point lead. And then Corbin off the miss. Carl Malone the rebound. Back to Corbin, who stays right with it, tied it at 113. 40 seconds to play. Corbin blocks Lionel Simmons' pass, but tips it into his own hoop. That gave Sacramento the lead for good, and they hang on to win it. Well, Williams has been averaging better than 27 points a game since coming off the injured list. Wayman Tisdale had 25 spud weapons, and off the miss, Otis Thorpe airs it out to Vernon Maxwell, who's loose on the other end for the one-handed stick, and then they switch roles. Maxwell going to Thorpe, who had 14 points, 13 rebounds. Reggie Williams trying to keep the Nuggets in it. Going to take it in and challenge Akeem Olajuwon, and the lefty hook gets by him. Williams had 24 for Dan Issel's team, which actually led at the half, but Thorpe caps a 10-0 run with a thunderous slam, and Dan Issel and the Nuggets run out of time, although a tight game, the way the Rockets have been blowing people out. Houston wins their sixth Sonics. George Carl praying that he wouldn't run into a red-hot Tim Hardaway. The Warriors undermanned, but Hardaway, great touch pass to Tyrone Hill and Golden State. Golden at the half by four. Third quarter. Peyton to Pierce, he pulls up and hits. Ricky had 13 in the third quarter. Baseline off the scramble, he hits the leaner. Hardaway answers. Two of his 29, and got it to go off the cushion, but then Pierce, 19 in the game. Carl's so bored, he actually ejected in the fourth quarter. It's getting boring for him the way the Sonics just keep winning and moving right along. They are facing the Hawks. You gotta look at some of Chicago's injured. Off the bench, Trent Tucker with three. Dominique answering for Atlanta. He had 25 in the first half, but the Bulls led by five. Second half, Michael gets into it with a three. Jordan with 34, the soft jumper. But Chicago actually needed Trent Tucker, who hit somehow at the end of the third quarter of that three-pointer. He was six of six from three-point range, nine of nine from the field. He didn't miss a shot. Outstanding as the Bulls hold off Atlanta. Chicago's record 10 and two in the month of February. Richardson making his debut in a Detroit uniform at nine points to the former Buck. Mark Aguirre hitting the three. The Bucks were down one with 36 seconds left in the game. So they look to Blue Edwards. 
If he hits it, they have the lead by one, and he does. Pistons a chance to win it. Joe Dumars, who scored 43 the other night, had 22 in this one, can't get it to go. And the Pistons on the losing end as Milwaukee ends their five-game losing streak. Brad Lohaus at 27, Frank Burkowski adding 17, as we'll have more of the NBA a little bit